Welcome to the Burns Playpen. Welcome you guys back to the Burns Playpen. Today we're going to have us a different game on the channel. Dead Rising 1 on the PS4. Uh, if you're paying attention to the video and watching as I go along, I will show you how to get the Mega Blaster, which is the best weapon in Dead Rising 1. Uh, with that said, you don't have to rescue those two people, but they do give you a lot of PP. So the first thing you want to do is, like in the beginning of the video, you want to start the mission all the way up here. And go through the lady, you'll see a little cutscene which I cut out. I'm showing you how to recharge the batteries if you want. Take more pictures. So anyway, after you uh, cut the cutscene, you're supposed to go help Brad. You do not need to help Brad. I think his name is Brad or Fred or whatever. Um, the Brad, you gotta go help Brad. You don't need to help Brad at all. You want to waste all your time basically just killing zombies. Because you need to kill... 5,395 zombies to be able to get the zombie genocider achievement. When you get the zombie genocider achievement, it uh, is how you get the Mega Blaster. Okay, but it only took me, I had, I think it was 30 hours or 35 hours left when I finished this uh, achievement. So basically, I went around, I just tried on clothes for the rest of my time. I killed the uh, guys that are the convicts uh, which gave you another another achievement but also when you kill them makes you take the car drive it around for a couple of seconds gives you another achievement it's like all hijacker uh, when you kill the uh, the prisoners um, you can, and you finish the game just like the zombie, uh, zombie genocider um, you will then get the uh, privilege of the uh, the Mega Blaster from doing the zombies and you will get the prison outfit but you have to complete 72 hour mode to be able to get that in your security room so just keep that in mind just because you get the zombie genocide achievement you will not have the weapon until you finish the 72 hour mode so basically just do whatever you want um, there's other things you could have done you could have went around and got the little PP stickers and stuff I didn't do it but you can With that said, here I'm just showing you a real quick way uh, how I uh, how I do it. Basically, I steal that red car. You want the red one? It's got a little more protection than the motorcycle. Motorcycle breaks down real fast. Plus, it's terrible. So you have to kill as many zombies very quick. This is so boring. You want to kill as many zombies as you possibly can. You don't want to wait. I mean, come on. It took forever. Feel like I mean, because you need 53,000 of these things, man. And the cars all break. And, like, you can just drive around, drive around. You gotta leave and come back and load and unload. And, oh. So, with that said, you make that loop like I just showed you. Um, obviously, it's my very first one. You can see I'm level 3 when I did it. I think I was level 27 when I was done. Um, so, it takes a while. You do rank up quite a bit. So if you actually do this first and you do the thing, you'll have a lot of a lot of extra spaces and skills to help out the story. But we we'll go back down this time. If you look to the right hand side as you turn around, you're gonna see our left hand side here. You'll see a truck right there, boom, it's pulled in. You can't take that one. The one to the right that's backed in, you can take that one as a secondary vehicle. There's technically three vehicles down here you can drive. There's this red car, there's that box van, and then there's a white car. If you drive around that far enough, you'll uh, around there long enough, you'll find the white car. So basically what you want to do is you want to run down there, run over the zombies, come back, get in the car and go. The other way you can do it, as I'll show you right now in this one, is you run down there, basically you just run this car into the ground so it quits running, and then grab in the box van. The box van will last a lot longer. Now you can see how many zombies I've already killed here. 27,000. You would not believe how long that took. I'm just splitting the film and speeding it up for you because I know you don't want to see me like five hours of me killing zombies. It's crazy. So you lose back up. Just keep doing this over and over. If you hit the explosion things, it doesn't matter if you do this way because you. But if you go past where it says slow on the street, just right ahead of you, um, you'll spawn more zombies in the back in the mosh pit. But like I said, this pretty much is the video is basically over. Um, just showing how you can use the van if you want. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope, welcome everybody back to the Burns Playpen. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Um, I will have more videos of Dead Rising coming up soon on my channel. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm also aware of Dead Rising 2 for anybody who's interested. So that'll be coming up real soon too. 
Uh, if you have anything you want to see on here or want me to show you how to do, make sure you uh, leave a comment and I'll do that. I'll also be ho posting for the other stuff like the Mega Suit and stuff um, as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun making it. Um, well, this one not so much, but the next ones will be. Right here, I'm going to show you that after I spent 72 hour mode, I went back and boot, there's Mega Blaster. This is the uh, prisoner outfit. Mega Blaster is basically, you get 300 shells, basically. It's like a gun, you get 300 shells. And one ki shell kills much everything except for the Psychopaths. It takes a few shells, but like three or four, not very many. It's pretty awesome. It's the burn. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you guys next video. And I'm gone. Bye bye.